Welcome to our video on the SDS. My name is Rob with Maverick Trading. Nice to see you here. The SDS is part of our levered ETF series of videos that we've made here where we've gone through pretty much every single one of the levered, both the long and the short ETFs and really discuss how to use them as a trader and as an investor. Before we jump into the SDS, I need to cover just what is an ETF very quickly for those of you that don't know what it is. Whenever you hear the term the stock market, that really doesn't mean anything. Look, there's several different exchanges where stocks are bought and sold on a daily basis and they go up and down. There's really no way to say, hey, how are all the stocks doing? And so they created these things called indexes that you could actually track what the market was doing, like the Dow Jones Industrial Average, the Standard & Poor's 500, the Russell 2000. And they created these as a way for someone to look at this number and say, oh, the market went up today, the market went down today, but it was just a collection of those 500 stocks that they put in there. In 1993, a firm called State Street created the first exchange traded fund called the SPY or as was called the Spiders. This was developed to deliver the same return as the S&P 500 index. The great thing about these is that it was a stock. It wasn't a mutual fund. It wasn't index. It could be directly bought and sold like a stock at any time at a really cheap price. This was a great alternative to mutual funds. Before ETFs, if you wanted to get the same return as the market, you had to pay a company probably somewhere around a half or 1% to run the money to try to get you the same return. Now it's as easy as just buying SPY. And these have options, which is awesome. We're an options trading firm at Maverick, so we absolutely love options on these ETFs. Over the years, they've created inverse ETFs. So basically the opposite return. So this here is the SH, which is the short of the S&P 500. As you can see, it's going lower, which means the market at that point was going higher. When the SH goes higher, it means the SPY is actually going lower. So these are great vehicles to use, especially when trading inside of an IRA. And that is the benefit of them. You can finally, for the first time, actually protect your money. Before these ETFs in an IRA, you basically had two choices, to hold or to sell. And when you saw the economy going in the toilet, you saw the markets going down, you had to fight this decision of what am I going to do? And many times we just don't do anything. Inaction is typical. And we see our capital being lost 20, 30, 40%. Now, yes, markets come back. We know it's great. But finally, you can do something about it. Here we have the SPY. Now this is the ETF that tracks the performance of the S&P 500. So whatever those 500 stocks do as a whole, the SPY is going to move along with it. However, let's say that a trader wants to magnify and inverse the SPY. So they're going to do the magnifier times minus two, and that's going to get you to the ticker symbol SDS. This symbol gives you the inverse return times two of the SPY. Let's take a look at these side by side. So on the left is the SPY and on the right is the SDS. And you'll see that they just simply move opposite of each other. When one is going down, the other's going up. And when one goes up, the other's going down. The SDS is designed to give you an inverse return times two. Let's talk how and when to trade SDS safely. Now, typically we talk about how these inverse ETFs and these levered ETFs are really great for a trading vehicle, a short-term trading vehicle where you're in and out fairly quickly within the day is preferable. If not, maybe two to 10 days after that, there starts to be some problems with them. However, we don't see a lot of benefit here to trade the SDS because you could also use the SH or the SPXD and simply get the same position. To show why this makes no sense, let's take a theoretical trade. Let's say there's a trader out there that thinks the S&P is going lower and they say, you know what? I want to trade the SDS to get a negative two return from the SPY and they buy $100,000. Okay. Well, here's the problem. That's the same trade as trading the 1X SPY ETF, which is the SH and buying 150,000. And it's also the same trade as buying the SPXD, which is the three times inverse of the S&P and only buying 50,000. All three of these are going to be the exact same trade. The problem is the SDS has the least amount of volume 
and is the least liquid and will have the bigger bid ask spreads. We need to discuss the risks of these levered ETFs. So the SDS, there is what's called a return differential. Remember for the 1X ETFs, the company that runs those, they buy and sell the underlying stocks. So for example, the SPY is the S&P 500. Every time that people buy and sell the SPY, the company is in there actually buying or selling real shares of stock. And so the performance tracks very, very closely. With these inverse and levered ETFs, they buy a little bit of stock, but it's mostly options and futures. And based on how close they get to the underlying movement of the SPY is the return you get. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not good. Here's an example of the SDS. On the left is the SPY, on the right is the SDS. Now you would assume that, okay, I'm supposed to get negative 2x. Well, that is not always the case. You know, take a look at 2020. 2020, we had 18% up, but 50% down. That should only be 36% down. This is what we call the differential. And over the years, you can see that these differentials can be pretty brutal here. Now look, sometimes it will work in your favor and sometimes it will work against you, but studies have shown that long-term, this will almost always work against you. So the return differential is a real issue with these ETFs and holding them for any longer than just a couple days, you start to get into that risk of this differential. These also come with higher fees. Levered ETFs come with higher fees. Every time you buy and sell, you're going to be paying more for this. And sadly, no options benefit. At Maverick Trading, we are an options trading firm. We have traders all across the world, and it just doesn't make any sense at all to trade these because what happens is the options will simply just be adjusted for it. So you say, okay, but this one goes up twice as much. Well, guess what? The options are going to be twice as expensive. Everything is going to balance out. So there's really no benefit. And what you'll see here is that on these levered ETFs, there are much larger bid ask spreads because the volume's not there. If you're going to trade options, you're best off just trading options on the SPY. And last, these can be used for hedging a portfolio. Again, it doesn't make any sense to use the 2X when you could either use the 1X or the 3X. So for any of you who say, hey, you know what? I want to do the 3X so I can buy a little bit less to hedge. Great, use the SXPD. If not, use the SH. But it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So remember, when you are dealing with these levered ETFs, the number one risk is position sizing. As you saw in that graph, there were some years where this security lost 60, 70%. If you are too big in that, and you get one of these moves against you, you could lose 60, 70%. If you had your entire portfolio on one of these, it could be really, really brutal. And so because of this, we need to be very cautious of our position sizing. So to really wrap up the SDS here, uh, I'm gonna wrap it up not all that pleasantly. We don't really see any reason to trade it. There is no reason to trade an inverse 2X ETF when you have better alternatives. Uh, the SH is going to be much more liquid, much tighter spreads. The options on it, if you play the options on it, are going to be much better. And the SPXD is the 3X. These are going to be better trading vehicles for you. Thanks for joining me. Goodbye.